you probably don't remember, but in 2008, when the men's team was practicing at San Jose State, that was my school alma mater, I snuck into the, it was supposed to be a private practice, but you know, being a volleyball junkie I am, I found a way in, because my friend works the advanced staff. He snuck me in, I'm hiding in the bleachers, Eventually, Hugh goes, how'd you get in here? <laughs> and then he continues practice. And I remember you were the first person that came up to me after the practice. He gave me a USA pin. Oh. And then all the other players proceeded to introduce themselves. <laughs> Only person, and then Hugh was just too annoyed. <laughs> Even on, on TV, when I would watch, you know, when you coached the team in 88, Pepperdine, Paul Carroll, you know, oh, like yeah. JB, second block. I mean, he's, he has such a decorated career. I always felt this incredible passion and leadership. And I know, did, did you, you did your dissertation on John Wooden? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, like for you're someone I really try to model as a coach too, of, you know, character first, competitiveness, you know, as a big part of that too. But, sorry, I'm just like, yeah, totally no. spitting all this information at you. My question for you is like, what keeps you going all the way through? Because I know you're retired from Pepperdine, but here you are also being on the coaching staff for USA. So what, yeah. what, what keeps you involved? So uh, basically, Karch and I have a good relationship. You know, started when I was coaching, he was playing. And, yeah. You know, we had some really good years uh, together. And uh, yeah. so I, I tell him about once a year, hey, Karch, uh, I, I don't. If you can add, get, get somebody that would add value uh, mm. more than me, take them. And, They'll go to the next nine Olympics, and I don't need to go to another one. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, the interviews are good. But uh, so far, you know, it's it's been working, and oh, it you know, it's fun to it's, it's hot everybody hot. likes to achieve, and it's like the rest of the world's gotten better, yeah. you know. And uh, there's a there's a challenge in front of us, and uh, and he's up for it. Not, I'll try to help him if I can. What do you think is your expertise on the staff? Because you're, you're there for a reason. No, no, yeah. And mostly uh, I'll watch, uh, you know, I'm just a spy. And uh, and then once in a while I'll, I'll try to think of some smart to add. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll, I'll just be watching the opponent. And sometimes, you know, you're on the offensive side. Yeah. And uh, hey, here's how we're going to tackle them. And sometimes, uh, for me, it's on the sort of block the Yeah. Thing. So I enjoy that. And, yeah. Uh, so just another pair of eyes, and that sometimes yeah. it helps a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's a, you know, he, I have so much respect for him and, and his staff. It's yeah. just, it's part, uh, it's fun to be part of something good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you helped him win win the first gold. Oh, you, another yeah. another history. Hey, I, I know who did the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple more questions. How, how have you seen the game evolve? You know, being involved for like, what, is it four decades now? 80s, 90s, 10s. Yeah, yeah, I think it's more decades. It's, uh, it's a little bit faster, more physical, yeah. and, uh, and and actually a little more creative. You know, yeah. uh, used to be everybody played the same, and I think we're seeing that change up a little bit. Yeah, especially with the athleticism that uh, you know across the board. Yeah, with uh, lot, lots of teams, and not yeah. just the top one or two teams. Yeah, you know, it's interesting you talk about the creativity because when I, I talked to Doug Beal about five years ago, just asking his input on the game. And he says, at that time, it lost his creativity. Because when you guys were coaching in the 80s and the 90s, it yeah. was crossing patterns, you know, yeah. the, the, the D ball was just developing, the BIC was just developing, there was innovation. And you're right, I think everything was very cookie cutter for a long time. Yeah. And it has been really refreshing. And it, I think it makes volleyball just fun. Yeah. Like, are you just gonna, guys gonna get guys that can execute the perfect system? Or are you, you going to try to coach a team that can adapt to any situation and freestyle? I think mean, that's what makes basketball so fun is there's a lot of you know creativity. So it's really great to see that transition into the volleyball game. Yeah, you see, uh, and maybe not so much tonight, but uh, you see, hey, we can transition. Let's sit the ball tight and make something happen. Yeah. Know, and jamming or yeah. whatever. Yeah. A lot of that. And uh, yeah. I, I'm good with it. Yeah, absolutely. Grant's gonna be watching this. Okay, big Brad. Don't. Big Brad. <laughs> yeah. uh, the libero from I don't know when he, I don't know when he played. I think he played in the year with JD. Yeah, um, just one of the very best people I've ever been around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he Brand. and his family. Yeah. Yeah, the big Ings. Brad. Yeah, so you know the yeah. dad. Yes. And, yeah, he. I mean, he told me the about the alumni game, and it was just really good. It's something he looks forward to every year. Yeah. Um, you want to say anything to Brant? Big Brad, I uh, look forward to having you at the golf tournament and uh, maybe just swinging by Malibu in general. And uh, you're one of my favorites of all time. I think you know that. Yeah, those are beautiful words. Okay. Thanks so much, yeah. Coach. Okay. See you yeah. around. Yeah, thanks for the interview. Of course, it's yeah. It's been 40 years since I've been here.